Peter Weller actually has a PhD in history. I don't know who Peter Weller is. <laughs> Anytime now, game. Anytime now. Come on. You can do it. Come on. We gotta do the intro. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. Do the thing. There we there go. There we go. Okay, we're back. Okay. So, welcome back. We're on episode four, and now I have my sister here again. Hey. Back. She was here for the first episode, but then I recorded two other episodes without her, so she's kind of lost on what's been happening. Yeah, what has happened? Um, what happened, well, what do you, what, what was the last thing you remember? I remember you coming home from meeting, what was Craig. It? Craig? Okay, so after that, um, I went to the school for, to meet with Amanda's teacher, so I met Hugo. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, um, I think I met Damien, too. And then, I don't know. I've met all the other dads. Okay. And then, now we're at the barbecue a few days later at Joseph's house. Remember? Oh, okay, that creepy guy. Uh, yeah. The, the creepy one. <laughs> the, the creepy, like, goody two-shoes one. And now... Uh, we're all hanging out, and I've been talking to all the other dads. Alright. So, here we go. Okay. Flint. I cannot remember who Flint is, but okay. Who the hell's Flint? Flint <laughs> <laughs> retaliates by breaking an ancient cursed urn and sending the spirit after him. Yeah, it's such quality reality television. Oh, I think they're talking about that, um, that one show they watch. That one show? That one show they watch. I can't remember which one it is. It's like Ice Road, Ghost... 100 truckers something like that All i don't right. watch a whole lot of television but i do enjoy that show that and war documentaries <laughs> yeah uh robert's a robert's a movie buff okay oh i should say this right now i have been playing a lot more of this game than you guys have seen <laughs> so i've played through a few of the other routes so i know exactly how the game works now and so for this playthrough i am only going to be doing one route and that's going to be craig's route because he is my son. He looks like Shiro. He looks like Shiro from Voltron, straight on. But then again. So if I say, so I re if I refer to Shiro in this video, just know that I'm talking to Craig. And I'm not like going crazy or anything. I like Craig and Damien. I like Craig and Damien too, they're my faves. And Matt. Matt's adorable. Yeah, Matt's a cinnamon roll. Yes. But there's a whole table of food right over the. Daisy, it's a game. We're playing pretend. It's what kids do. Live a little. Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms from the snack table. They eat them with mock disgust. Let's go find kindling for a fire. Okay. But not an actual fire. Because we're playing pretend. Now you're getting it. God, they're cute. Daisy and Amanda run off. What a cute couple of kids. See? Aww. See, this player character is so relatable. <laughs> Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. I guess Amanda just sort of has a way of kids. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Hmm, it's nice that he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all. Yeah, Brian's a little, little one-up I haven't done his I haven't done his route yet. I've seen the ending for it, it's pretty cute. But I guess he's not as bad as you seem? No. Okay, he's not as bad as he seems. So I have yet to do Brian's and Hugo's and Craig's, obviously, because we're doing Craig's here. Like I've purposely kept myself from looking at Craig's route. Yeah. For the sole fact that I want this to be genuine. But then again, Mark. <coughs> but then again, Mark. <laughs> Go ahead, does Craig? Jesus Christ! I haven't watched the whole episode. Like I stopped right when he picked Craig for the first date. I'm like, no, nope, nope. nope. I'll Not just watch do. it later. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just watch it later. I will. Does Robert happen? Yeah. Hmm. Robert, you can do one with Robert, right? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age, too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. Oh. <laughs> she bit people, too. <laughs> Alright. Ah, kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required to by law. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I hear that. <laughs> well, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should try to put together a little play date for them. They do seem to get along really well, but the thought of continually hearing all about all of Brian's accomplishments is rough. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellas. Nice. <laughs> burger time. Ooh! Burger time! Burger time! <laughs> <clears throat> Great. Now I'm going to talk to my boy. <clears throat> and his little vibe. I love the baby. Little baby. I love the baby. <laughs> Matt and Hugo seem to be embroiled in an intense discussion. Craig looks on, smiling politely. I walk over to say hello. 
Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art movements like that. Periods in art only exist because they're a unique byproduct of the social and political climate of a time and place. And to try and take something like, say, the Rococo period and compare it to postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which your art is created. Damn. Matt and Hugo seem to be so busy talking that they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Neither do I, but I'm gonna talk to you. I turn my attention to Craig, who seems a little more attentive to my existence. Aww. Good. My son. My, son. <laughs> my lovely boy. How did resistance training go the other day? Great, Little River here is a real great cheerleader. Aren't you, tiny bro? Tiny bro! Tiny bro! <coughs> oh, tiny bro! Craig grabs River's arms and waves him around. You're so good, Dad! I'm so proud of you! I'm sorry for pooping on you! <laughs> Aww! Look at her little face! <laughs> so cute! Her little face! Oh, I'm so cute! She must be a handful at that age. Oh, they always are. But it's so worth it. Craig grabs River's arms again and waves him around. It's so cute! Also, I'm sorry for throwing up on you, Dad! <laughs> Oh. Are you setting linen? Almost done. Think it's perfect. Never. I never get too comfortable. Um, it's perfect because I'm neighbors with all of you. <clears throat> it's really co cozy, and the neighborhood is beautiful. I'm so glad we moved here, and I'm even more glad that right next to my old best friend. Kind of gives me a playful punch on the shoulder. Ow. Ow. That it hurt. <laughs> I remember that hurting less in the past. Nice. Sorry, sorry. I've been doing push-ups and stuff. Obviously, he has a little wave. Obviously, <laughs> duh. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I have my stupid Dorito shoulders. I was just gonna say, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stupid Dorito <laughs> figure. Dorito, he's stupid Dorito shaped. <laughs> Billy, how are you liking the new neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Seems like your daughter's fitting in just fine. Matt points across the yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. They're all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them into little flower crowns. Aww. It's pretty adorable. The girl I don't recognize jogs over to us. What is it, sweetheart? It's a flower crown. I thought you'd look cute in it. Aww. Well, there's only one way to find out. Matt takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. Am I cool now? <laughs> the girl stares at him, thinking over. Hmm, no. But you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Ah, hey. Aww. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, a uh, flower crown for the cinnamon roll. Ah, uh, it's his daughter. Hello, I'm Carmen Sita. What an interesting name. Amanda comes over with Daisy in tow. Dad, look, I'm making friends. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. Jesus Christ, my daughter's pushy. <laughs> yeah, actually. Amanda, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop? And my old college friend? And, uh... Your teacher? teacher? <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't realize we were neighbors. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> you still gonna get me that overdue term paper? Uh. Hey, great seeing you. Bye. Amanda finger guns her way out of the conversation like a champ. Mm -hmm. She learned the finger guns move from me. I'm very proud. Same. Hey. Same. Just did that. Oh my god, you learned that from me. Yep. So shush. shush. I'm the dad here. <laughs> You're the dad! I'm the dad here. Oh. She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? Huh? Hugo looks around the party. <laughs> he must finally spot him because his eyes go wide. Oh. Ernest! Ernest Hemingway Vega! Are you smoking? Oh. Ernest is holding a lit cigarette. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag of his cigarette and then flicks it into a gutter. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Bye. Hello. <laughs> You're more important to me. You are way more important to me. <laughs> Hugo marches over to Ernest and I turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Man, I do not envy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants, nearly burned down half the yard. And the barbecue <laughs> we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. And that just spread onto my lawn and burned down half of my yard, too. Jesus Christ. This boy. <laughs> this boy. God, he looks so done with everything. Same. <laughs> Hugo walks over, back over to us, practically dragging Ernest behind him. Hey, everybody, sorry about that. But this is my son, Ernest. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking, his hands shoved deep in his pockets. Ah. Broody. Ah. They're just... The sign of the most broody person possible. Hugo nudges him impatiently. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? The fucking... I swear to God. Okay, I'm in 8th grade. Are you happy now? Uh, yeah, good for you. You're in 8th grade. <laughs> 
like, hey, he was the same as you. Kind of. I'm going you're, you're, into. You're in high school now, so. Yeah. You were close. You're close. A little bit. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for the failing economy. Dude. That's so out. Cute. out. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. Ernest. Oh, yeah. Because I'm totally I'm embarrassing, embarrassing you. <laughs> Ernest puts earbuds in and storms off to stand in the corner. Well, that was certainly something. He seems nice. Hugo puts his head in his hands and sighs. I'm so sorry. He's having a really rough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the authoritarian dad, and he clearly resents me for it. I mean, I think as a dad and a teacher, that's about as authoritarian as you can get. Honestly, are any of us cool dads? Is it even possible to be a cool dad? Uh, hell yeah. Uh, yeah. You see yourself, Craig? Look at Excuse the baby. <laughs> Look at the baby. What? I'm as cool as a cucumber. <laughs> that's not cool at all. <laughs> see? That right there. You can't say that. My kids think I'm cool. But for how long, Craig? How long do we get to be the cool dads? I, uh, don't know. I think we just have to accept the fact that as dads, we've become the machine we once rage against and accept our fate to unironically wear socks with sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. I mean, that's actually kind of right. Amanda's 18 <laughs> and she still thinks I'm cool. I yell across the yard to my daughter, Amanda, I'm cool, right? Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. I see your point. <laughs> as, as much as we all want it, I don't think it's as important to be a cool dad as it is to be a good dad. We can't all be best friends with our kids, it just doesn't work. I mean, look at me and Ernest. Our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. <coughs> sorry. Jesus Christ, Katie, you're making me edit. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right, but it'd be nice to have it both ways. Hearing these guys talk about this mistake, oh, what Jesus Christ, I cannot <laughs> breathe. Talking about this mistake. Talking about this mistake. <laughs> How did I mess that up? <laughs> Hearing these guys talk about this makes me think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might come a time when it won't be like that. Is college when that happens? Uh, don't let us eat, your, eat up your time, Bailey. Go meet up some of the other people around the neighborhood. I don't wanna. Oh, hello. Hey, creepy. Without further ado, let's work some magic. Okay. <laughs> what magic? Burger time. Okay. Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. It's not a good idea to cook while your eyes are closed. <laughs> <coughs> it's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. Don't worry, he's a fucking pro. <laughs> okay. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? Exactly. Mm. He's working faster now, effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side. One after another, the dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful technique. <laughs> you probably didn't know this, Bailey, but Joseph's known around here for his grillmanship. He's unbelievable. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. Hey. <laughs> Let us keep studying. There's a rare quality about it. Oh, hey. <laughs> Where you going? Mustard, we keep talking about this? Can't we just appreciate the artiste? <laughs> hey! Just. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen him make a mistake. <laughs> oh. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Oh. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> That is legit, like, my favorite part in this game. <laughs> Please stop. It's like, all of them say one joke, and it's... I like a mustard. All of, the all of the children at the party booed the glorious display of puns in unison. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. A. Hey. <laughs> Thought we were done, right? Never. <laughs> Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, per enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Like, honestly, though, I just want to try one of his cheeseburgers because they sound delicious. <laughs> Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. Kind of nice, isn't it? It feels like there's a real community here. It totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. We're happy to have you here, man. I think you're going to like this neighborhood a lot. I already do. <laughs> <laughs> I already do. <laughs> what is that, Greg? <laughs> For one reason. <laughs> Actually, two reasons, but one reason. Because you, you like Damien. I love Damien. <laughs> Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all the kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'd make a real killing. <laughs> yeah, why don't you add us all on Dad Book? Dad Book? <laughs> dad Book? <laughs> it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all on it, so if you ever need to reach out to anyone, that's the simplest way to do it. Uh. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops, I'll help you figure it out. 
The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beers. Our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmen and Sita and those weird twins. I think they wanted her soul. I mean, they're the twins. Those twins are weird. Those twins are weird. Oh my god. Amanda and I walk back to our places and the sun sets over the oh. neighborhood. Pretty fun party, don't you think? I mean, I got a burger. <laughs> I got a burger? I mean, I got a burger. Sweetie, if I can impart any sort of wisdom upon you right now, and not that this is a bad situation, but if you're ever in an uncomfortable situation, always look for the silver lining. We ate rockin' birds today. What? We ate rockin' birds today. <laughs> we ate rockin' birds, <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> Amen. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dad Book. Maybe I will, if I ever figure out how social media works. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Yeah. Sleep is <laughs> yeah. important. Make sure you're getting enough. I don't get enough. No, never. <laughs> Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. It seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. Any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Aww. Is that okay? Of course. Just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Aww. You got it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Of course. And call me if you need anything. Dad, you're not going to do the thing. Get every time. Exactly, I know. <laughs> Dad, you're not going to do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that, and I will never do that. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I, um, my plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. It's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to work on some stuff. See how long I can sleep for a thrill party. Uh, see how long I can sleep for, hell yeah. Kiddo, I'm tapped out. But the sun hasn't even gone down yet. Um, excuse me. It has. If we can see in these windows here, it has clearly gone down. <laughs> so, you're lying to me. <laughs> I still had sleep to catch up on from you were a baby. Just let me be. I'm still relaxing you tonight. Have fun, okay? Great, like see you later. Bird right there. I, this that bird. Do I have it? <laughs> Dude, like, I love honestly. it. I wish I wanted to drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I popped down for the TV and turned on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity <laughs> chef Gavin Chapman. Oh my God. It looks like Gavin's making a roast rack of lamb with rosemary and mashed potatoes. I love oh be able to cook like that. Although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any real food with I any mean, nutritional absence, or substance. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught the thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional! I lose track of time as I play through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind. And also Hell. one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. Honestly, it sounds really fun. <laughs> I go into my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. Unless she's driving home right now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. <sighs> okay. I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day off of socializing. Yes, that's what yes. it's called. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Huh. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? Call her no. First. No, it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hill are not only assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling. So I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come back. <coughs> Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who she was even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is Emma P? <laughs> I decided to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. Oh no! Oh thank god, it's her! She opens the door and shuffles it. Finally, finally she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. Sup, sup. Sweetie, thank god you're safe. Aww. Uh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my texts? Amanda pulls out her phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops, guess I didn't see those. She starts uh -huh. to walk to her room. Amanda Ann! Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? I always pick this one. Yeah. So let's go with that. You weren't responding and it was just, it was just like when you're dead. I have to stop myself from tearing up. Oh. 
Dad, I didn't mean to. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I sit on the couch with my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just don't do that again. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Oh my okay. god. Okay, bye children. That was... Dude, you have no idea. Oh I'm no. Go no, it's nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna close the door to her room and I head into mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? Oh no. I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brewed some strong coffee and mixed scrambled eggs for Amanda's peace offering. Hell yeah. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey. I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was gonna do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well. This one. We're an adult now. I should have gotten so worked up. Team Watson? Team Watson. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Team what? She gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them? I already did. Bless you. <laughs> <coughs> she scarfs down the eggs in no time it takes to wash to wash the pan. Wash, wash the pan. <laughs> Thank <Walk>. you. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's the dad book? <laughs> it's a social media platform. Wait. What? What's a social media platform? <laughs> oh my god. Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. Alright, I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. She spends the next couple of minutes sitting on my profile on dad book, which it turns out is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. Alright, pal, so you gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. <coughs> oh my god. It's, it's the quiz. It's just filling out stuff, honestly. Oh. On a Friday night, you were most likely to... <laughs> uh, Torment my children with dad puns. Torment my children with dad puns. Hell yeah. If you had one thing to take on, your, on a desert island, what would it be? Um... Well... Interesting. A boat, obviously. A boat. <laughs> Duh. Oh, that's what smart. Hands? Dude, okay, but like, honestly... That is strong dad strong arms. Dad arms. Strong dad arms. Strong dad arms. Yes, please. When did you want to be when you grew up? Salty boat president. <laughs> no. President of space! <laughs> you know what? Yeah. President of space. Yeah. What's your favorite movie genre? War documentaries. Sean Connery's entire filmography. Rom-coms. Whatever will make me cry. Um. Sean Connery's entire filmography. What's your ideal date? Arson. <laughs> 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 Just <laughs> What's your ideal date? Arson? Yes. Napping no, candy. I wanted to do puzzle pieces. Okay. Puzzles. Because yes. When do you never leave home? Cool knife. <laughs> My sick vape. <laughs> but also a cool knife. A cool knife. My crippling low self esteem. Same. <laughs> oh, a book of word jumbles and a pen. I frequently forget everything at home. Um. Well, for me, <laughs> my crippling low cool. self esteem. <laughs> no, it's this one. Okay. I spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories. Dude. I mean, yeah. How proud I am. Potential ends of the world. Uh, where I can get the next cup of coffee. A lot more modifications. Should, dude. Um, conspiracy theories. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day in here just looking at people's profiles. You said Pesh is one of them. Or more than one of them. All of your dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I will promise I'll make some friends. She gives me a hug. Go get him, dad. She get cute. Go get him, dad. Alright, Craig! Craig. Here we go! Craig. Here we go. Time for the stuff that I haven't seen. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Okay. Okay, so... Wait, what's his dad book? Oh, what's his dad book? I'll read it. Dad of three, business entrepreneur, a fitness enthusiast. <laughs> really work in family. Sure, 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 sure. I'm reading it. <laughs> and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's gotta do it. On a Friday night, you're most likely to get one last good cardio session in. If you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be? A box of energy bars. What are your turn-ons? A sub-six-minute mile. What did you want to be when you grew up? Beer pong world champion. What's your favorite movie genre? Buddy cop movies forever. Actually, yeah. What's your ideal date? Scaling a huge dangerous mountain for fun. What do you never leave home without? An extra tube of energy gel. <laughs> What's Ugh. energy gel? Ugh. Ugh. 
I don't know, but I don't want to know. <laughs> I spent a lot of time thinking about my mouth. Time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? Uh, don't know. But we're gonna go on a date. Okay, but hang on. So the thing is, I on my other profile or on my other save file for this game, I've already done Matt's, Damien's, Joseph's, and Robert's because I'm trash and I can't help it. So because <laughs> I'm trash and I can't help it. So. so I am only going to be doing Craig's because I'm most likely going to be finishing off Brian and Hugo's on my other game, so I'm just going to do that real quick. So, I don't know, this will probably only be a few episodes more, so. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, you know what, this is actually a really good stopping point for this one. So, we'll see you in the next episode. It's going to be nasty. We're going to go on a date with Craig. <laughs> It's going to be the best thing ever. Yes. I swear to God.